Welcome back to Rusty Jeep. Thanks for stopping by. Let's see if I get kicked in the balls by the Jeep today. Okay, anything that can, can and has to come off for lifting the body off, I'm doing ahead of time and putting it back on so my life is a lot easier in the future. Hey, okay, what am I doing? Well, I got a bunch of projects going. Um, I'm actually changing this to a cable. Um, I have to change the boot, so since I'm doing the cable and the boot, uh, I put this shifter back on because I figure I do a quick video on how to do take the shifter off and how to do a custom um, knob for the shifter now a lot of people have problems with them this is a 2000 this has two holes on either side you can see a bolt hanging out here with a nut and then the washer I'm gonna do the same thing on this side this is a quarter inch by 20 by one inch bolt and this is going to be a 716 nut on there and then I put the washer and all you have to do on this particular model on the, this 2000 is you take the bolt and you thread it in now mine like I said is a quarter by 20 I would think it's standard but with this particular Jeep we don't know sorry about the big screwdriver but go big or go home so now what I'm doing is I'm twisting it in. Now this is actually pretty important, all kidding aside, because if you don't twist this screw, this bolt all the way in, um, what can happen is when you start putting pressure, because what we're doing is, let me just, that's pretty good. Right there is good. What we're doing is basically taking the bolt on either side and we're squeezing this together to let it go. Now, if you don't get that bolt, this bolt far enough in, you can actually rip the threads out and then you, you know, you're shit out of luck. Now on earlier models, people say there's no holes. I don't quite remember on my YJ if there was holes or not holes, but if there was not holes, I wouldn't try pry it out because this is shifted to a ball, this piece is to a ball in your transmission. And I'm not gonna guess, even if you're pulling the leverage down with a fork and pushing up, you know, I still think it's not the wisest thing to do. I would actually try to take a clamp clamp it in the same area what we're doing on these bolts and then tighten that clamp and it's the same premise it's probably stuck in there and you're just squeezing it and pop it off like I said I don't have that issue I'm having the bolts so I'm happy that I have the bolts now what you're gonna do is you're going to take your 7 16th wrench and you're gonna start tightening like I am right now now I usually tighten one, one side at a time she wants to go for a ride um, one set at a time but in actuality you can do do one side and then the next side but it's like a car you go you know cross I like to go back and forth now that's that's I'm gonna go a little bit tighter with this and then every once in a while you don't have to go Hercules on it you know you just pull, pull up and there it goes you know come right off and here's what I'm talking about see we're pushing on this angle and when we push on this angle, we're going to relieve pr um, pressure and this is going to slide off and make life pretty easy. Again, mine was a quarter inch by 20 um, by one inch bolt I used, 7 16 was my um, wrench I used and I just squeezed it together. Now the rest of the video, I'm trying to get this handle off but this thing is, I don't know, it's not welded on there but it's not coming off. so. The rest of the video, I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to show you how I'm making a custom knob onto my Jeep TJ shifter. Okay, it's going to be a second. I'll be right back. Okay, now I've gotten the shifter out of the Jeep and I put it on a vise and it's not on a table, but I can stand on it. I looped it up and it's not coming off and then I went to basically put in the vise and then tap the bolt, but I actually messed up a thread and that's how it kicked me in the balls this time. Um, so what I'm going to do now is put on my face protection, take my die grinder, and I'm going to cut this off and try to pry it open. Is it overkill? Yes. Do I want to waste any time on this? No. So let's do this quicker than the, you know, taking our sweet ass time about it. Um, I always wear either goggles or a face mask just because I like to see. So let's get this going. I am your father. back 
Okay. Okay, there's the nut. This thing is seized and it's not turning around. So there's the nut right there. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna cut underneath the nut and unscrew it that way. I win. Fuck you. Hey, maybe this will help me rethread the bolt that I messed up. Ooh, that might work. This might be a win-win situation for me. Cool beans. I thought I was gonna have to freaking redo that. But this might work. Come on, you want it. You want it. Come on, you want it. Everything has rust. I don't know if you're gonna see this, but bottom thread is even gone. It's just solid. I'll zoom in on it as much as I can, but that bottom thread down here is it, basically solid rust. And what it was, it was locked on the rust. I didn't hit that or anything, so that's why it wasn't turning no matter what I did. I tried to twist it, wouldn't go, but once I got cutting, metal let's see if that works let's see if this threads I might solve a problem this is cool feel my excitement with you that I don't have to freaking go out and recap this re um, thread this okay that's good now and I can reuse this in one second I'll be right back Okay, it's bolts on, it goes nice and off, no problem, I had to cut the top a little bit. I have the wrong side insert for the next part, but I'm going to drill it out and do the next part, and then I'll just order the new piece, but that goes on nice and smooth. The next part I'm just going to fast forward because it's going to get loud in a compressor, um, and I clean all this off, remember that safety glass and on this one the compressor and the noise don't forget your air safety too okay let's clean this thing up Okay, I don't know if it's recording yet still, but that's, this is gonna be covered by most of the boot, but that's, I'm gonna clear coat that. I still gotta clean this thread out a little bit, even though you don't see it, but I wish I was gonna do a short boot. Numbers look pretty fucking cool, actually. All right, I'm gonna continue cleaning this up, and I'll come back when I do the next step. Yeah, I don't think you can even see me in this. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, maybe edit this part out. Okay, talk to you in a little bit. Okay, we're getting pretty close. Now, 
I got the look I wanted on the shifter. I took the paint off, but I used uh, aluminum oxide um, disc, uh, flat disc. And if you just go from the top and follow the curve down, and you guys just kind of start making lines and keep on going around, you'll get this cool swirl pattern. And that's how I got this pattern. Um, I'm not sure how far the boot I'm gonna go up with. I cut it already a little bit, but I'm not quite sure how far I want this boot to go. So this might go because it looks pretty cool. It's gonna be that would look pretty cool. But I was playing around with the idea of even making this boot even smaller and then showing two letters. Which you can't really see right there, which looks pretty cool too, but we're still not done now that so if you want to get that cool look to it just use a flat disc 60 grit and that will give you it's going to take off some material so be careful that is going to give you that cool look that you see right here next i was looking on amazon for um, shifter knobs and everything and i really couldn't find anything i like i thought they're kind of exp um, expensive and um I'm a pretty much a backpacker nature guy, even with the Jeep I go camping. So I found these wood balls. Um, now the cool thing about these wood balls are I got, um, I think 10 of them or 12 of them for 10 bucks. So I can use them for a bunch of other things, but that's what we're gonna make the shifter knob out of. And after I do this one, I took the four wheel drive indicator um, uh, shifter off and that's going to be another video i'm going to modify that i'm going to cut that and I'm make it like the old cj so this will be taller but i want the four wheel drive to have i'm going to take probably get a use one from the junkyard and cut it but still have somewhat of the bend to it so it's going to look like the old cj double shifter so next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to this side work on this balls so you're gonna get to watch me play with my balls or one ball at a time so uh, kind of weird but it is what it is when you get them you can't see it but if you really look really really close there is gonna be a flat spot it's barely noticeable but what I did was you can see a couple of lines going across that's where the lathe or where it, it they do their cutting so what you want to do is get that's where my center spot is because if it was good enough for them to base the ball on, it's going to be good enough for me to base my center hole. Now, what I'm doing is just taking my paper towel, I'm going to fold it around the ball, and I put the ball in my vise, my portable vise, yes portable vise that we have to step on to make sure that it doesn't kill me or cut my fingers off but you can deal do what you have to do you don't want to put too much pressure on the ball because you don't want to dent it or anything so that's secure in there I'm gonna do a pilot hole I'm not sure how much juice I have on this how much juice I have left on this drill my drill it's a cheap drill but it has a level and we're not going for rocket science here. And I'm just gonna press down, get my level going. I'm really more looking at my level than the ball at this point. Just getting my center hole going. Okay, I'm not deep. Bring my shifter. I can go a little bit deeper if I want to. I'm going to put an insert in this so I... Okay, that's that one. So, I probably should step it up a little bit. Uh, uh, oh, that should be okay. Probably do it a little bit more in stages, but at this point, I think I'm okay. We're gonna find out right now. Again, I got my little center here. That's what I'm following. And it grabbed. Back it off a little bit. Tighten my drill a little bit. Okay. Uh, 
here and go back to my center. And I'm just drawing. All right. Like I said, hold my. Okay. Right, my ball moved a little bit. Okay, right there. Fucking A. Okay. Damn. I have to go a little bit deeper. Uh, a little bit deeper, and that's. Holy shit. I put in the description what size bit this is. For future reference. Holy shit. Oh, that fucking butt bit's kind of hot, though. It looks like. Maybe? No, I'll double check, but it could be, um, I'll put it in the description, but, <laughs> shit, that doesn't look too bad now, does it? Um, let me go a little bit deeper with this hole, and let's see if we can screw that thing all the way down, put the boot on it, and let's see how this thing looks for a finished product. Like I said, I'm going to probably have to grow a little bit bigger and do an insert, but I'm having a really hard time with the thread pattern on um that bit's bottom out with the thread pattern all like I said for me I made sure that this is nice and easy going on but I'm trying to get my insert that I have to put in the wood insert and maybe it's a fine thread I, I don't know maybe it's too fine of a thread but I tell you what it just wasn't going on and I was tired of messing around with it. Now I'm gonna put this back in here. We're gonna go a little bit deeper. Yeah. Yeah, with you. That goes on pretty good. Okay, right there. You know what? Sometimes you get kicked in the balls and sometimes you get a blowjob. You know? You know sometimes the drill runs out of the juice. Deeper. And I want to okay, let's put the boot on. Boom. Boom. Now I'm going to sand this um, ball down. Um, Probably start with not a 60 grit or anything like that. Probably gonna start with um, something like 120 and work my way down to work my way up to um, 280, maybe maybe even 320. And that's as far as I want. I actually kind of like how that looks. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can go a little bit deeper. But I think I'm gonna keep it right there. And that is. Your custom shifter and it literally cost me well I need the ball so you know I need balls <laughs> shit um, that's a joke for a different day um, I needed two of them so I spent 10 bucks on that and everything else was you know off the Jeep the plate I'm reusing everything else so the only thing I bought oh I bought the boot uh, for the shifter because I was ripped up and that was 
couldn't find anything cheaper. They were like 22 bucks on Amazon and they had it on sale. But I think that looks pretty damn cool. So let me know what you think in the comments. You think um, should go higher, maybe a little bit lower. Um, and I'm gonna stain this like a wood. I'm not sure what color yet. Like, you know, either we've got a natural, but I think I might go with a little bit of mahogany on that. So as usual, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and um, good fun. Have a great day.